We're now joined by uh, MEP Fabian Keller. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, can you tell us, uh, first of all, about how Jacques Delors shaped the European Union as it is today? Oh, he was uh, president of the European Commission for 10 years, during which he built the Monetary and Economic Union. That is a set of rules that helped uh, our economies to converge, preparing the path for the euro in 2000. He was also a great advocate of solidarity, so he created funds to help member states in difficulties, and that was a, is very important. And we lived that very recently with the COVID crisis. We were able to be together and help all the member states. Um, he, wo he also was president at the time of uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, that is, uh, that was a, a very important change in Europe. And he was very close to Helmut Kohl at that time, uh, the German Chancellor. So he was able to build bridges between France and Germany and all over Europe to prepare the admission of the new member states years later. So he was a kind of great architect of uh, Europe we are living in today. Indeed, uh, president from uh, 1985 to 1995, so it fell right in the middle of his presidency, the uh, fall of the Berlin Wall. Now, he was a very strong character, stubborn, uh, m many thought, having a, a very strong belief also in centralised government in Brussels. This put him at odds with Eurosceptics. Uh, do you think this sometimes counted against him, or was it necessary to uh, achieve what was necessary? I, I'm not sure we can say he was uh, advocate of a centralized uh, uh, commission. He wanted a strong commission uh, making proposals, uh, uh, helping him to develop his project for a strong Europe, again with uh, great uh, solidarity between member states, efficient in terms of organization. So he he was a president at the time of uh, uh, economic reforms, but also uh, he launched the Erasmus program that helped students going uh, all over Europe. He launched the Schengen area, that is the free movements in Europe and all the, the rules that go with that. Uh, so he was quite a reformist, willing to show that some issues are better managed at the European level, uh, so he was um, a, a builder of, of Europe. And I must say that he felt very well in this uh, compromises, that is uh, the principle in decisions in Europe. You have to work with all governments, with a centralized uh, uh, majority that is excluding the extreme in the European Parliament. So has his own history with Chabon Delmas, a centre-right Gaullist prime minister he worked with, as you said in your report, and uh, with choosing Mitterrand centre-left later, he was really built intellectually also to um, respect all of the chief of governments and to make progress and to be re heard by, by all the European leaders and to share his views. So maybe that's the reason why he felt better at the European level rather than in the French system where it's more left against right part of the political spectrum. Now, after leaving office in 1995, did he uh, leave it to obscurity or did he continue to have an influence uh, on the bloc after that point? He still had a very strong influence. Uh, he would always be very loyal to his uh, socialist friends. You, you showed how he supported Jospin and Ségolène Royal, candidates for the French presidency. But he developed also his ideas in his own foundation called initially Notre Europe. That's very inclusive, huh? showing that it's our Europe, the Europe we share. And now it's called uh, the foundation uh, Jacques Delors, developing uh, all sorts of programs for young leaders, for intellectual ideas, to organizing meetings among people of different opinions, but 
who all believe in Europe. So he continues his uh, uh, his task, but in a, not anymore in a such so political way. And he was really a giant of the European Union. Uh, can you tell us uh, when the news broke that he had died, uh, how people have been reacting there? Oh, people was very sad because he's an image. He's a face of uh, constructive Europe, of human Europe, of uh, solidarity in uh, Europe. May I say that the sa very same day, yesterday, Wolfgang Schäuble, another great European who is German, he was Minister of Finance, but also a uh, very much friend of uh, Franco-German relationships and uh, uh, who very, was also a very strong European, uh, disappeared. So we have two big images and faces of uh, the future of Europe, the, the prospective, the strong future of Europe who uh, left us uh, uh, yesterday, but they leave a strong message that we received or they built and uh, we have to make it uh, even stronger. Fabienne Keller, thank you so 